Look at the snap on that. And then it comes right back to that same position, but not too far back. You hit with the ball of your foot. It's a very quick push kick. It's very snappy. And then because of how you land off of it, you can keep walking forward and throw the other one. Like left, right, left, right. His elbows, you always come at an angle. You don't want to come horizontal with the elbows because you get stuck on someone's um, forearms. So he wants this like downward through the guard. See how he comes in with his head and foot together? Oh. Oh. His head and foot come together, and then his elbow just rolls over the top, splits you right in the forehead. I can do it from a standstill, but I don't roll it as I'm stepping forward. See how he rolls it in his shoulder socket? He doesn't bring it back, like he's not loading it back, it just rolls in his shoulder. Head and foot come together. <laughs> so that was the don't leave your head back <laughs> move. He's showing what's, what happens, how you can knee someone when they come with their um, belly first instead of their head and foot together. So I'm kind of angling my elbow, but because I don't roll it in my shoulder socket the way he does, it doesn't ultimately come down the center. That would be getting caught on someone's glove, probably. He wants my guard to stay there all the time. Look at him angle it. My glove gets really close to my chest. Look at his face. And then... It's my torso turning that generates the power. And he's like, you have to touch with just the bone. If you hit with the forearm, it's no good. You just want the bone only. And you just like slice it down someone's head. Look at his step on it. He's just walking forward. It's like totally natural. I'm hitting with my forearm. But it's because I'm extending my arm out. Again, it's because I don't roll it in the shoulder. That's one of the reasons you keep your hand really close to your chest, is to get the extension to come from your chest coming forward and not the arm itself. And that's what you end up hitting with the bone instead of the forearm. You hit with your forearm when you extend your arm. Oh, see how it just comes straight down the guard? Oy. The opposite upward one. So see how he has to step between my feet with his foot, and then he can come straight up underneath. I track my feet. Yes. I keep tracking my feet in a single line. So he's saying you have to step. So I have to step forward, and then after you throw that elbow, you keep stepping. See how he steps between my feet and then the elbow comes up? So I have to come back and then step. So it's step forward with the elbow, rock back, and then step with the upward elbow. My elbows got very horizontal when I tried to do two at once. Step right you step right between their feet. So again, if you kind of stick that elbow to your rib, you bring the weight of your body, and that's what creates the power on the elbow, and then it just extends up at the last second. So here he wants me to follow him and like stay on him with the teeps. 
So you don't teep and then, like, admire the fact that they went backwards. You have to keep walking towards them, and then you can attack again. See how he steps off of the teep? So you don't, you don't extend your hip too far, because then you can't control the teep coming back so that you can land on it. So you have to pull, you have to pull back from your knee, kind of. But he's basically teaching me how to like keep moving people to different distances and then attacking at different distances. So you teep to create space, and then he's got punches and elbows for when you're in close. not relaxed on the kick. So here he's correcting the form on the opposite side. So see how he balances my leg on his belly pad and rolls the leg so that I'm hitting with my shin. And then he wants me to get up on my toe. It's very upright. Just do not lean back on that kick. And again, he's emphasizing how you have to step. And then when you come back, you're immediately ready to block because you stand with balance. Something that Samart said during our session all the time was yun didi, which means like stand well. It's the same thing with kong tor ni. Every single time you come off of something, you want to be on balance 